Yeah, nice. nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you talk? I am the Stig. What do you talk about? Yeah. 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 It's Michael Schumacher. How, how long has it been since we've? It would have been. It, was it here? No. Nah. Or was like it over there? Like it's been a while. Twelve months since I've done the podcast. Yeah. Mm. It's been a hot minute. It was definitely over over there. I reckon. Over that side. Yeah, it was yeah. late 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 last year. I reckon. It's hard, getting harder and harder to get all of us together. Yeah, it's yeah. my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. You live in Melbourne. That's my fault. Yeah, bitch. So we're separated. Yeah, come on. Mm. It's so sad. Knock up. Yeah, but no. it's going to get worse now because we've got a bit of news. Yeah. What's the news? I'm, uh, I'm going, guys. <laughs> you yeet I'm going. Joint. I'm, I've been yeeted. <laughs> self yeeted. I've been self yeeted. I've self yeeted. <laughs> Little, little one. And you fly in the cool poop. Oh. And I'm so goddamn tired. Goddamn. <laughs> goddamn, boy. I'm so sad. So for the last, uh, it's been three, it's over three years now. Three and a half years, I reckon. You've been the person behind the camera. Yeah. It's been an ongoing joke that I don't even know how it started. We all just decided we would never reveal your face. It was really early on too. Yeah. It was like, yeah. it was pretty funny. Like no one yeah. needs to know who Lockie is. It's yeah. just, but, it's just but I was kind of happy with that. I was like, <laughs> you play it and I figured also, yeah. there was a moment I remember when we were at Unico Go where we actually didn't have a guest and you had to taste the wines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of yeah. quite helpful yeah. to know that we could just put it a Pe- faceless person. Yeah, I think people could probably go and find that episode. Yeah. yeah. It was like, <laughs> it was pretty dark. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. We tasted the musket bones to Venice that day. Dude, we you did. remember that? That's uh, impressive. I can't. Crazy I, I can't remember a single crazy. thing about I it. No, nah. yeah, I, I mean, I watch a lot of the episodes. Oh, that's probably it. Plays Real fan. Yeah. While he's in Melbourne, oh, yeah. just to get this. So we get up. Just, just watching him at home. <laughs> just on loop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that that makes sense. Where you're entering your, it's it's coming up in your last week with us. Um, yeah. We yep. thought we would do a grand reveal. Mm-hmm. So everyone who's watching this can now see Lockie's face wow oh, <laughs> hey guys i'm i'm real <laughs> you're, you're i'm real, real. he's not i'm, j- I'm not he, an ai yet yeah he's not just an idea yeah <laughs> we thought it'd be good obviously for a general catch-up for to, to run with a bit of the podcast because we do have a lot of people actually since we've been running them i mean when we first did podcast no one really watched it mm. and then everyone She's started watching it like screaming. this is before then like we did stuff like ages ago oh yeah, yeah, yeah. never oh. really kind well, of went anywhere yeah I yeah and totally then actually bad. since you were on Ooh. it then it got popular so like, yeah, yeah. that's um <laughs> was a global global wine news <laughs> global wine news oh Which yeah i remember oh, filming dude, dude. yeah dude, deep cut. Cut. see there deep we go cut. it's been a, it's been a long time yeah. Yeah, yeah that's back in the day when we were trying to put up three videos a week <laughs> yeah Success. we're making it work yeah yeah it was it was no one was watching them. no one was watching them dude uh, heartbreaking it was a lot it's a lot of work. It was a lot of work for this guy. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. did um comedians and bars. Comedians that's actually bars getting blind. that. I would say that's a highlight for me Aww. in my my like he whole always goes life. Back and talks about it as well. I I rewatch some of them sometimes, and I'm like, dude, this is some of the best dude, stuff really we fun. made. Um, yeah, but, um yeah. could meet Ruben Kay. It was exactly. fucking incredible. It's the one, re- of those, uh, one of those things where it's like you make a product that no one's demanding and then you're surprised that no one watches it. Yeah, it's like, I'm proud of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. no one wanted it, but yeah. yeah. What, yeah. so everyone's familiar with obviously us on the channel and I guess for the most part, most people are familiar with you on the channel in a sense. Yeah, subconsciously. Your existence. Yeah, getting They're cursed out every time you do yep. some weird shit. Well, yeah. particularly on Discord as well because you post up every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But I thought it'd be good to actually learn from you what you've noticed because we never really get to hear mm. what you've noticed about the channel since it started, where you su- what, what surprised you about it, what's, what are the cool yeah. things that you found about it, what about the audience? Yeah. What, were you intimidated by a lack of wine knowledge when you first started? Oh, dude, yeah. Absolutely. Like, when I first came into it, I, I still don't know a lot about wine, but I think that I've picked up some things um, along the way, like, subconsciously. Mm-hmm. Wine is something that I have figured out, actually, that it's definitely my favourite, like, alcoholic beverage. because Besides beer, but but just because of... And I, I had barely had wine before I worked here um but i think that uh through doing like the show and everything like that and then actually figuring out what like what wines are good i Mm. think is like really massively changed my opinion on it it's something that like drinking this 
I have no qualms about at all. I'm just like, this is a fucking really good thing to drink. It's a little bit alcoholic. This is the Chardonnay. Yeah. 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 Like, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful wine. It's, it's, one of the things that I learned, and you might find you similar, being young, is that we're just so bred with this assumption that Mm. expensive means good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've learned so quickly is that a twenty-five dollar bottle of wine can be the best bottle of wine. Yeah. Life. Well, yeah, I remember. No limitations. The yeah. the funny thing is, is my I think my Genesis wine or whatever would would be like Mally Gambit because that was the first yeah. wine that I had here like two weeks in that I was like, holy shit! I didn't know wine tasted like this. Yeah. And I was man. like, this is insane. And I've kept it in my head the whole time. It was a twenty twenty Mally Gambit. I Good think. year. Good, and good I'll, year for that wine. Yeah. I'll like always remember it because I'm like, yeah, that's like one of the best wines I've had. And that's still, wild. Yeah. Do Do you find you have a comfortability of finding like what you like to drink as opposed to like you've obviously heard our opinions about what's good and what's not How yeah do you formulate your own opinion of what's good in your world uh to do with wine uh like i think it's just like. oh, oh honestly i this is such a fucking hot take go this is such a hot go. take. go um I honestly, and I know Noah's going to fucking hate me for this. No, I don't like sparkling wine at all. What? In, yeah. I, in, I, in, 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 but I love, I don't know why it is. I couldn't tell you why. But I, I, I feel like I, at this point I've had like a few like really nice champagnes. I've had like a lot of like kind of mid sparkling wines. I don't think I've liked any of them. Dude, you've had Krug at the Exeter. Yeah. Yeah, which is one of the li- life's yeah. great experiences. Yeah. Oh. But I, I couldn't tell you why, because I fucking love, like, soft drinks. I love mineral water. I love everything like that. I love <laughs> You wine. like fizz. I like fizz. I, I like fizzy things. things. I, fizz. I yeah. like whiny things. Even, 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 like, I didn't even used to like mineral water, because I was like, oh, it's like spicy water. Like, oh, it kind of hurts. Mm. That's why it's like, too spicy. Well, like but now, like a, like a fermented, like, pet nap. Seafoam for me is a different experience because it's almost like uh, that thing when you're drinking kombucha where it's like a bit uh, of a smack. Sure. It's a bit of a smacky thing. It's so I kind of like it, sure which is fucking it. weird. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Um, it and must be like just, it's a bit more rich. It's got a bit more texture yeah. to it. It's yeah. A little bit hard. It's probably just the texture, honestly. I, uh, I struggle with it as well because it feels sharp in yeah. my mouth. It's like sparkly. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, I've just had some dreadful experiences mm. with sparkling Shiraz. Yeah. Yep. Maybe uh, maybe it's the thing that when we're like <laughs> this this corner of the room is being real added right now. <laughs> so, uh, how do you feel about it, Henry? About sparkling Shiraz, excellent, mate. It's my Genesis. Sparkling Shiraz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're talking about Genesis ones. Yeah. I've got a Genesis yeah, yeah, yeah. one. That's in the that's in the DNA. Yeah, that's yeah. in the DNA. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like I I think that I think that I like sparkling ma- wine hmm. more than I like sparkling For wine. For sure. Yeah. I wow. think- No I, one wants to be the guy that's just like, I don't like champagne. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'll preface by the I way, if somebody champagne. like hands it to me, I'll fucking drink that shit. Mm. But, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, I, it's actually more, I would say a, pr- a preference. Cause like, I, st- I don't hate it. It's like you go to a restaurant and they ask you want your wine still or sparkling. And you're like, yeah. still, uh, still, still, still exclusively. Still. Yeah. I love it still. Thanks. Well. Yeah, that's basically sh- like that's just Chardonnay. So I'm fucking about yeah. that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, so since you've started, one of the things that we noted about you was that you have been on the Shabli bandwagon oh, for yeah. a while. Yeah. What about you? Are sh- such a sh- Shabli Chardonnay. Yeah, I fucking so love it. Chablis. Why? I fucking love Chablis. What about Chablis? I can't fuck it. I don't. I can't Is remember. It the I can't class? remember. I don't know. It's probably you, Brendan. I feel like all the best ones I've had is just like Brendan. We're at like a staff party, and it's just been like, "Hey guys, I got this sick fucking." One. Wine. Yeah. Let's go. And then, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or German Riesling. And was, it, was, it, was it? Was it like Ravino at the Royal Mail? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That honestly, was pretty, that was, it was honestly, it, and it probably. I bet it's it was a hard, hard not to. It would have gone yeah. like this. It would have gone like Brendan going, "Look, like, let's fucking go." Like him picked a wine out of the book, and then, and then, and then, and then it being in front of me, good. and then it being in front of me. Me knowing nothing, going like, what the fuck is this? Like asking Noah, like, hey Noah, what the fuck is this shit? Him going, that's Shabli. And then me going like, this is the best thing I've ever tasted. In my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel really similarly about Riesling. Mm. And I don't know mm. if you guys have picked up on it. You've really week. like, you, yeah. we, I am hard. on a Riesling kick. Yeah. yeah. I, don't yeah. Know, I don't know yeah. what it is. It's it flipped. It could just be like 
this is the first sunny week we've had in mm. six months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Serotonin. But like, it's just I hitting. just, it just tastes like drinking springtime. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Riesling is just so fantastic. But 12 months ago, if you put it in front of me, I yeah. would turn my nose off. I, I don't want anything to do growth. with it. I, I reckon if growth. I was in, we love growth. if I was in France, it was like really hot. And I had that whole experience of like tasting champagne in champagne or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I reckon I'd, I'd, I'd walk around like, oh, sorry, I'd like come back to it and I'd be like, this is amazing. Yeah. Because I've only ever had it in like, you know, the Exeter or some shit. I'm yep, like, yep. I'm like, what? It, what? All like you know an what I mean? hour and a half after it's been poured up and the three of us have tasted it. And then <laughs> yeah. it. Yes. Like, but, yes. That is stick, man. You should try it. It's yeah. just like half washed back and no bubbles. Talking about like the, the channel specifically and obviously the challenges that it is yeah. to try to get the three of us together, blind taste it. Mm. What, as the whole channel grew, because it wasn't always the blind tasting show. Yeah, we were yeah. doing many different things yeah. before then. We were just talking about global wine news. Yeah. Um, like, what did you, as the channel sort of progressed over the last three years, what did you mm. find worked or didn't work? What challenges that you had? You oh, know, damn. Um, I think it's like definitely all about catering towards uh, your audience. And I think that's like, at first, we just started off with a bunch of different things just to see what worked. Um, and then that kind of mapped it. And I think we found pretty quickly that people were, really liked the blind wines as like something to relate to, I think. And, and also it helps them like purchase wines for themselves. Yeah. So I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. We, we yeah. took it, we help with the decision-making process. We, yeah. go, we, we can guarantee you by us saying it literally in front of a camera, not knowing yeah. what it is that we like it. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Whereas, you know, I think there can be a lot of in the industry where it's just like, this is a 93.1. It's like, what does a 93.1 taste like? Who scaled yeah. of the Richter? What, like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah. No, and that, that, was, that was actually like, we caught a bit of flack for, like, not a, I wouldn't say a bit of flack. When we asked people what, what would they improve about the channel, a lot of them come back and say, um, the price and the amount that you would buy, like, yeah. you can leave that out of it. And it's yeah. sort of interesting because it's sort of, if you don't have that, you don't have this sort of a relatable arbitrary measure of yeah. just a tasting note. Yeah. And so like the points thing, we sort of riffed that as well because it was like, well, what does a, what does a point system even mean? Like how, do, yeah. how does anyone relate to it? Who can relate to spending and buying quantities of? For sure. Yeah. It's you know? like people work hard for their money. So someone saying that they would buy a dozen of a wine at $75 a bottle. Yeah. I mean, they really fucking yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, actually, drink volume of it, or store it, or do something like, with sure. that volume. A really good like example of that is when we tried to knock it down to three wines, mm-hmm. and then people kind of uh, arced up a little bit, rightfully so, and we're like, "Nah, six wines make sense because if then I can like fill a whole case. Like yeah, if I get, six, I can get, I get, I buy two, in two. sixes, yeah, yeah." Um, and then that's an example of how you learn. You basically just put something out there. It's it's a little bit like throwing you know shit at a wall and just seeing what sticks. Yeah. It's just like some and then all the stuff that doesn't work, you just have to let it go. Yeah. It's just like throw it away. Were you surprised with how far Henry got? And his oh, Henry's there? ridiculous. I remember like don't we know it? it's it's <laughs> like he's he's so good. He's so good. Like um, and I have to tell you like there's we film probably for like 15 minutes each um, per person. And like, so I get to hear everyone's notes and Henry, I have to leave out like so much of the stuff he says. Cause he says these like really intricate, incredible notes and I can only take like pieces from them. He's yeah. sounding too smart. He's so good at it. Um, at the beginning, I remember, I think the tastings went for like, for Henry, it was like a minute of him like sipping it and then being like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. That's how, like, and, and it was, and it <laughs> wouldn't. Like, nah, I don't yeah. like this. It was <laughs> pure comedy, pure comedy. But um, now it's to the point where it's like Henry has that ability to be comical and also educational, educational about yeah. it. Which is well, really I mean, look awesome. at that swirling technique. Yeah, dude, that's, yeah. that's, that's the thing. I, I think I remember it was like <laughs> that yeah, at the dude, beginning. Like, <laughs> wasn't even holding it by the stem, holding yeah. it like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> week one was rough. So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, I would crack up so much though. Like, hey, yeah. Did you think it was nuts that we even built an audience off it at all? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, yeah, still, it. it's still completely insane. Well, because <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew you guys had um, an audience to begin with from your stuff before I started. Mm. Mm. So that, I don't know, that was like during the pandemic. 
you guys yeah. had like quite a few viewers. Dude, we had 400 subscribers yeah. when you started. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're on any given night, we probably had maybe up to 100 people watch live. Yeah. Mm. Which, you know, in the context of things now feels pretty slim. Yeah, if you put 100 people in this room to watch you do a blind wine, so it'd be pretty fucking terrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If I imagine it was like a live show, it'd be like, holy shit, we just sold a, you know, two decent sized room out. It's yeah. wild. I, I did it. So there's a website that you can go to, which is like an audience. What was it? Like a. It's like perspective kind yeah, of. Yeah, shows yeah. you. Like, shows visualize yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. you could be looking at your subs numbers and be like, oh, it's only like a couple thousand. And then you look at what 4,000 people in a room or in a, in a crowd yeah. Yeah. and you're like, Oh shit, man. But it's, a, lot it's of a lot of people. So we get some data that you don't. It's kind of interesting. There's two bits of data between what a what is like publicly viewed from like the public coming to your page and subscribers is such a big part of it. It would be useful if watch time got put up there to see how mm. many people, how long people had actually watched certain things, see how actually I guess engaging or entertaining you are. But one thing that we get is unique viewers, and mm. so unique viewers, and it's it's so uh, it's it's a new part of the back end of YouTube. But unique viewers for the last 90 days, so the last quarter, uh, currently is sitting at 280,000 yeah. individual people with an average watch time of four and a half minutes. Wow. Jesus. And I so think, it's like... Yeah. I think I looked it up and then like all the content that we've made over the past like three and a half years, it's like almost 100,000 hours of people have watched our stuff, which is ridiculous. Bonkers amount yeah. of time to spend staring at us on the yeah. screen, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's Thank really you. good Thank you, manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it's interesting, like, when I, I threw sort of the size of that audience up, it's just, like, it's... It's terrifying. I don't find it terrifying. I find it, I find it like, in, like, enlivening. I'm like, wow, that's really... It's so cool to see that amount of people that love wine. Yeah. In the, in the digital sure. space. Yeah. Like, yeah if I would think about it while I'm tasting and even talking right now, it's now in my head and makes me think really, really, really yeah. careful about all the words. That's like, like, oh, yeah. like I've, I've been in front of some like, you, you played in front of some decent girls. Oh yeah. Big yeah. Audience. Yeah. It's like, the, yeah. the biggest one is probably when we opened for the killers and that was like everyone mm. at the Adelaide 500. Yeah. Yeah. How big it's like all of Adelaide. That, I think the audience that was there for our set, we were on maybe like an hour and a half, two hours for the killers. And I think the audience we had there was maybe like six or seven thousand. That's a Jesus lot. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Like, big I think a lot of maybe people. Maybe yeah. I, I could be putting some love on that number, but. That's a super spreader event. Yeah. That is. <laughs> yeah. That is an and it was. Just, and yeah. it's, <laughs> it's weird because people do just come up to you and like it's happened when you guys are out on trade people mm. will just mm. come mm. up to you and be like oh man i love what you do and it's sort of weird. oh no it's weird on one hand but i i, I find it endearing oh uh, see i don't really like people so i'm yeah. like yeah, you don't know. Me. I was, <laughs> why are you I was still, I, I was waiting. I, I get one of those like, um, it's like, I, why, why, why do you like what we do? Yeah. Why do you like oh, look, what I do? Free, I don't, I don't out. like it. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. I was, yeah, I, I was, like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was in the Yarra Valley on Saturday, and I was at uh, Giant. I went to Giant Steps and tried a few wines. Did the whole thing. Mm. Rocked up the cellar door. Did the tasting. Um, and they came out in like three stages and on the final stage they just popped up with like popped up two extra glasses and then just poured three different things and they were just like we just like to say thanks so much for saying so many nice words about the winery over the years that's so good. I was like we that's share cool. your videos around yeah. the office people like watch and listen it's really, it's really cool stuff that's so really cool. shout yeah. out to Jaden and the team at Giant Steps yeah. thank you yeah. for looking but that, me that makes the and Anna as well I reckon that makes the grind worth it that makes like yeah. all of the 100%. hours and hours we've spent filming it you know that people actually give a shit. It's making an impact. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. like there's so much shit on like YouTube just in general field about how like there are these like individual YouTubers like the Mr. Beast of the mm -hmm. world that just explode and blow up and they're mega rich and famous. I think coming from the wine industry, you kind of get humbled a little bit because mm -hmm. no one is coming out of the wine industry like a millionaire nor a billionaire really. Yeah. It's, it's a generational game. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and so- No, I was thinking it depends on who you are. Yeah, I'm just well, thinking like DRC, fucking they'll be all right. Yeah. But they've been that's, around for they've right. been around for a thousand that's with, years. Yeah, yeah, that's with everything. So they take the time, and wine industry is like about taking time. Mm. You know, the same thing with YouTube. I think one of the cool experiences I had recently in the states, we were doing a tasting in uh, Seattle, or oh, Laura was, and we sort of rocked up, uh, and then these two young dudes rocked up, and we're talking like 21. Mm. Wow. And they rocked up because we put a thing up on our Discord, so they're on Discord channel. Um, and so forgive cool. me, I've, I've forgotten your name already. Um, but 
it was it was really cool to see firstly the engagement by age appropriate audience, mm. but equally like young people, like this was actually something that kind of I got yep. into. And then and there I was just like, well, I'd knocked off for the day, Laura was still, you know, doing a tasting, it was kind of a packed room, quite similar size to different. And I was like, I want to try some different Grenaches because, mm. you know, we're in the States. We've got all these different Grenaches we could try. I'm going to try, buy that bottle, buy that bottle. And they were cheap because it's you're in the States. Mm. So I just cracked them open. I was like, guys, grab some glasses. You know, there's two young guys. Let's try some Grenaches together. And they were like saying that how they're getting into wine, but they can't really, you know, afford to drink like really well. What could they drink? And it was part of the thing. I was like, you should yeah. look towards Spanish Grenache because mm. it just, it over It's good, ba- it's mm. good value. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And so... I grabbed like a, it was like a $30 bottle and like a $40 bottle. And then as they were leaving, I just popped the cork and I was like, here, just take this. And it was like the nicest thing. Aww. And he went down for it. I was like, well, I mean, I've got a lot of wine that's that so I come cool. from. And, you know, working in wine, it's not like we don't value it as much, but like we just see it all the time. Nah, mm-hmm. dude, you, like you do value it a little bit less. Like, I remember when I first started here, I was like half, like uh, if that amount of wine's left at the end of the night, I'm like, oh my God, dude, hell yeah. This is going to feed me for a week sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> and now it does yeah. sort of become a thing where you're around it so much that you're just like, Oh, bottles of wine. Like, oh, well, no, you've got too much wine at your house. I have right a now. wine problem. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I also keep buying thing. it, which is my problem. Yeah. Yes. My dad has the same thing. Like, the inside of his walk in wardrobe, all on the top, it's just stacked <laughs> too deep with cases and cases of wine. Yeah. Yeah. You can have too much wine. You can totally have too much wine. I had, a, I had a lot of Unicode, I need to I've got sort that out. A, I mean, I say a lot. I maybe have a dozen. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and I'm like, guys, I have a Wine rack. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that's so yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, my my, that's pro- crazy. my problem is I have a wine rack, but it's it's it, that accounts for about ten percent of the wine that I own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you've ever, yeah. If you've ever got some like riesling, you need to offhand or that you don't want. This is this is the, yeah. this is like, the thing you know, is that like I think my wine problem is stems with the allocation. So I take a lot of the unique allocation, and then I like I overestimate how much I'm actually going to drink in a calendar year. Yeah. Sure. And then I'm just giving it away. Mm-hmm. Which is like, because I think it's like when I was first getting, I wasn't necessarily around it as much, but now like when I'm out on the road, I'm drinking Unico every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. tasting it every day. Mm. So then I come yeah, back I home and, and it's like, what would you like to drink? The same thing that you've been drinking every day for the last thing. It's like, mm. it's not that I don't like it. I think yeah. it's awesome and I love it, but I just want something else. You need a break from That's it. That's how I felt with Vegemite and cheese sandwiches in school. Well, <laughs> your mum just made you a Vegemite and cheese sandwich every day of the week. And yeah. Every week for like four years. And yeah. if I see another Vegemite and cheese sandwich, I might run in front of the bus. Yeah. I'm not like that with Fiano. No. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with some Fiano. <laughs> I'm happy with some I, Fiano. Know, I, I remember getting the, the message sensory when you and uh, your lovely other half, Shani, mm. went across to WA. Mm. And, um, oh, yeah. and I just got this message. It's like, is this any good? And it's like a photo of Franklin Estates Isolation Ridge. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Lockheed's leveled up. Yeah. It's like, know? yes, yeah. buy yeah. as much as you can. Yeah, yeah, now, load brilliant. up the car, start uh, up the car. Were you surprised that a at that man. point when you were like, I recognize this or I'm going to go for it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Noah like had mentioned it to me or you had mentioned it to mm-hmm. me like months before. And then it kind of just like came up in my brain as I was looking at the wine list. But it was a really funny moment because Shani and I went to uh, Fremantle together. Nice. And um, we were just like walking around and we found this random Italian restaurant. And I can't remember what it was called. I know the exact one. You know, about. do you know what it's called? I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, one of Dan and Emma's numbers. Yeah. Oh, cool. Anyway, yeah, it was wicked. it was awesome, and we like went inside, and the um the sommelier come like came up to us and was like, "Do you want like advice on the wines or whatever?" And then I was like, "No, no, no, I reckon we got it." And then he kind of gave me a look of like, "All right, buddy." Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Sure, you do." No worries, mustache. Yeah, like. literally, <laughs> literally, he was like, "Yeah, nah." And then I was like, "Ah, right, fuck this dude." I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to order the coolest yeah, wine on this list. Can I get that one? And then um, the, I was a little bit validated. Um, not like it mattered, but because he came around and he um, pulled it out of the, uh, the fucking the thingy, the cooler. And he was like, oh, shit. And then he like put it back down and walked off. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. dude, it's always a good moment. It's always a good moment. Like I've, had, I've been at a restaurant a couple of times and then they've seen like like maybe one of the younger staff members like opening up the bottle and doing that kind of thing. And, mm. and then the, you know, the head waiter or the yeah, floor manager or the uh, som is just like, who's drinking that? Yeah. And they point to the table and they're like, and they, you know, do it like a little, just like. You get a little nod. Yeah, a little like. I yeah. Know, that happened to, to Mark and I recently when we went to a new joint. Hot Street called Sophia. Yep. Um, oh, brilliant, 
brilliant location, um, phenomenal food, phenomenal wine list, and they they asked what wine we want, and Michael's just sort of like he will drink whatever I drink. He's yeah. really easily pleased with wine. He pretty much likes anything, mm. and that's the really great thing about it. If I order a glass of wine and I don't like it, he'll drink it. Yep. Mm. And he goes pick pick whatever you want, and we were having for first course we we're having um, anchovies. Oh yeah. And I'm yeah. like. I'm like Give me the Assertico. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. Good. And the, the way he's like, like, damn. Oh, shit, okay. So you can actually nice. say the thing? Yeah. <laughs> you, you pronounced it correctly. Yeah. I want the ass wine. Yeah. 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 And he's like, I've actually never tried this, so wow. I hope it's good. Wow. And I'm like, Power move him. Just be like, oh, just yeah. bring over a glass and you can have a little bit of mine. <laughs> Dude, that reminds me of when we went around. with... Um, so great. Tom to thingy and then he like brought up the list of Fianos and then Unico was on the list. That was pretty <laughs> That was pretty oh, I try what? to I try, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I try to avoid situations like that. I used to like when I was much younger, like I say much younger, at least ten years ago, your age. I used yeah. to kinda of love that, but then it kinda of eventually got a little bit weird. Well, because it's a bit awkward. Well, <laughs> for you, for yeah. you anyway. Uh, for me for, you, for me I was like, this is fucking hilarious. Yeah, I was, was like, they have no idea. Was that the song was like, we've got this amazing Italian piano on. Yeah, it has yeah. no really idea. It's good. actually, it's, it's like, down the road. <laughs> Unico Birdwood. Oh, wow. Where was, it? Where, where was this? Press. 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 Yeah, dope. Yeah. The was guy was, awesome. the guy was I mean, a legend. I was like really thankful to have it on at Press. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the guy was like, oh, totally. I'll, I'll try it. I was like, I think it's Unico Zello. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, no, 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 no. It's not. It's totally not. Yeah, I don't think it's Italian. We mm. we pretty much clocked every Italian piano in Australia. I'm I'm pretty confident. That's it's pretty yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. If the dude's watching this, he was a, he was a cool guy. Though. It was, was a cool guy. guy. It was yeah. actually really sweet. And we really yeah. weren't trying to lead you to that. Like because when he came back over and he was just like, oh, here you guys might like some Unico Zello. I was like. We really weren't trying to get this to happen. I no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're like, going for this. We yeah, this is not what we're doing. We just want a piano. Like, it's just not what we're yeah. here for right now. Come yeah. on. Hey, man. Come on. That's what happens when you control the market, dude. <laughs> yeah. When you got that sweet, sweet wine yeah. bottle. It's not a major fucking Woo! Come good. I feel like it's something that, that working here has, has opened me up to. Because I didn't drink heaps of wine before working here, and I still don't drink heaps of wine, you know, I don't leave my house very often apart to park and come to work. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I used to look at a wine list and see all of these things I've never heard of and just like completely skip over them. Yeah. Just out of fear, mm -hmm. right? But I saw the Assertico, I think we had an Assertico on Blind Wines once, yep. I remember mm -hmm. being, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I liked it. The Kiryani one, yeah. Yeah. yep. And I think that's exactly what I had at Sophia. Yep, you would have. Yep, would have um, and I remember not liking it 12 months ago, but that just like built knowledge of, well, I'm having salty seafood. Mm. It's yeah. probably going to be really acidic. Yeah. It's going to work well with what I'm having. I'll give it a shot. And I did the same thing with the Proterra Aromatico. Nice. Which is a bonkers wine. It's amazing. Oh my it's God. And such good value. Yep. Yeah. And oh my God. That's, it's like my new favorite wine. Gewürz. Oh yeah. my God. It's Beautiful. silly. Gewürz it's is silly, underrated. silly wine. If I didn't have to drive, I would have sunk the whole bottle and Michael <laughs> would have had to pick me up off the street because I would have passed uh, out. Mm. But it's delicious. Uh, Essie Pinnell, if you're watching and you want to send me some free Potero uh, Aromatico, I You know, it's the vineyard's literally like down the street. Uh, yeah. Bullshit, one kilometer. Just, yeah, it's Gamaraka. It's in Gamaraka. Yeah. We should hook something up. I guarantee you Steve's not watching. <laughs> 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 if you um, watch this deep, that'll be pretty funny. Yeah. Um, I also liked that, you know, when we had the staff Christmas party, we, we had the kind of thing where like, well, the menu was being passed, the wine list was being passed yeah. around the table. Mm. Je yes. Gemma also won the night. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even get to try that one. Oh, the, yeah. Adelaide, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Ashton exactly. Hills Estate Pinot, where we're just like, oh. Myself, Michael, and yourself, and Adam. Yeah. We're just like, Yeah. We were on this one end of the table, and the rest of the table was ordering uh, a two sip martini. Yeah, it was segregated mm. in the middle with us. Really all two sip martinis. And they were just like, oh, just keep the wine down here. And then you guys were drinking other wine over there. And we just, we yeah. didn't have a cross table. Yeah. Uh, conversation going. One of the things you only do at a staff party is have three two sip martinis rather than one martini. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. on reflection. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the guys, really, I'm yeah, sure yeah. like Henry, who's running long play, is just like, this is great. Yeah, like, labor's up, but 
Cogs are good. Cogs, Cogs are so good. <laughs> Cogs are so good, but it's just, it's just self-fulfilling. Yeah, it was good fun. That was good right, fun. Right later. If there was anything, <laughs> if you were to go back and change of the last three years mm. with the channel, what, what would you do? Or would you do something earlier or later? Uh, well, we wouldn't have, well, this is the whole entire thing. It's like, we wouldn't have learnt to be where we are now if we didn't have all that other shit. Mm. So we wouldn't have the like right to have the viewers and the community we have now, if we didn't go through that hardship of shit. Cause we went through, we were grinding. We were really grinding for a minute there. Mm. There was a couple of conversations. We were kind of like, oh, do so we so stop we doing we, this? We like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. this good? There was, is this worth the amount of money yeah, we're, we're spending on buying wine? Oh, this is, this, yeah. this is such an negative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we will good. never see it. Unless, yeah. And it will take 15 years to see the positive. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but like, if I could have the knowledge and then just like reset it, I would probably just like, I would cut a lot of the uh, extra shit we were doing. Yeah, and just do like blind ones. Sorry, I'm just fucking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to cut that. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut that one. <laughs> That's good. Um, but yeah, <coughs> fuck me. I just cut it and then just like roll with the blind ones and then do like some of the vloggy stuff mm, and yeah, just like right. roll with that. And then the um, like the Grange thing we did was amazing. Maybe I'd like. Try, try and do a bunch more of that yeah, stuff. We, that if, stuff takes up a lot of time. So yeah. much time. Like the, the amount of effort <clears throat> that went into that Grange video was great. It was, I mean, it was an awesome, awesome video, but it took like, it took months worth of work. So it was a lot. It's, it's, it's funny you say that because that was uh, when I started, it was like one of the first videos that came out. Mm. And yes. It just like, the bar. Yeah. yeah, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the level not of that. that they're producing. Once yeah. A week. And Whoa. then just like, yeah. It just, it, that is like the penthouse. Oh, you know what? I'll, t- I'll tell you. I was just like expecting that to be like. Every week. Like, so like, yeah. Every week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm like, so where's the. It's still like yeah. the documentary. Watch, like video. And, and rightfully so, it's like yeah, it's, yeah, it's really, really good. good. Yeah. It's a really good video. But yeah, and it's we tried doing a few others. Like we actually got partway through Dom Perignon. Yeah, well, yeah. like a, I wrote a full like script for Dom. Yeah, Damn. but it's but like yeah, they, like we couldn't get access to all the footage we could do for Penfolds, which would be yeah, fun. Yeah. So if anyone from LVMH is watching. Yeah, it's just just like, we contact LVMH and like, and like we just got ghosted. It's, it's like it's we don't rank on their importance. Yeah, yeah. yet what we're not a customer. Yeah. We're a competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The contextual yeah. stuff that we can oh, really like into it. The footage that we had from Penfolds was just insane. They yeah, gave us yeah. like their entire archives, like stuff from like the fucking eighteen hundreds oh, and dude, stuff. That it was, was insane. Good, so awesome. Oh, it was great. The, was the hardest part about that video was choosing what to actually put in it because they yeah, just gave me so too hard. much stuff. I was like, oh it's shit. Yeah. yeah. That's so why no one wonder they're successful. Mm. Fuck off. You know, they're, they're doing, they're, yeah, they've been amazing collaborative partners mm. um, yeah. with, with all this stuff. I mean, they're going to sponsor us. The reason is wine. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm okay with that exchange. Totally okay. We pro- people don't get free wine from Penfolds. If they so sent us money, we would just, just buy wine with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And by the way, I was going to say this before, just before I forget, because I got that ADHD brain. Um, like one of the best moments was after we did that Grange video, like a week or two after Henry was hosting like Battle of the Bands. Mm. I think it was the first time we met Henry's mum and dad. Mm. Or, I did at least. And um, I think it was your mum and your dad came up and they were like, that video was amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, if you yeah. don't, and if you don't know this, Henry's mum is like South ridiculously Australia. famous in South Australia. Henry's dad um, and, and Henry's dad, dad, dad yeah, is a yeah, fucking yeah, legend. Mom liked it. Dad, yeah, so mm. the, I was, when we were talking about the Grange video before, mm. like we were just we were put in the wrong era, man, because like dad used to make like documentaries that was his yeah. game like yeah. made documentaries about paddle steamers about yeah. outback mountain and all this stuff mm. oh i am yeah he's an i am for services to clang me. Just so mm. yeah, he's an 
Yeah. Yeah. Clang. <laughs> it was very funny. We were an Australian medal. We were a presentation for a moment over in Parliament House. We're like, oh, this is pretty fancy. This is pretty cool. And Dad gets up and gets his medal. We're like, fuck, what a, what a proud moment. This is yeah. incredible. The next bloke who got his IAM was for services to Morris dancing. So the bar's pretty low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a big chuckle about that. Um, That's so funny. No, so Dad, <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> There's another one we got services to call for as well. The international, uh, the national, that's, that's come back around. Sponsored by you because yeah, that's come back around. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, so Dad just made documentaries. He's just like, yeah, if I'd made that pen, I would have charged him thirty grand back in the day. Fucking hell! Wow! Yeah. 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 So like, you, that yeah, that stuck with me. Yeah, mm. that's yeah. so. Funny. Yeah. Jane yeah. Doyle came up to me and told me. She liked something I made. I was like, kill me right now. Yeah. But I like, can't get I was like, I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah, say, <laughs> say, say, just, just stops, just stops on the street. Just what stops on the street. He's like, Gemma, I really love those bass lines in the last uh, Oscar the Wild EP. It was good yeah. stuff. Yeah. And he'd be like, yo. She has heard your music. She does like it. It's not, not a joke. Music. But you played the lines. You played the lines. You're not in the band anymore. You played the lines. Yeah. I did. I did. Jane Doyle likes my music. Jane Doyle. I wouldn't expect Jane Doyle to listen to Oscar Wilde would pop off again. Yeah, no, she likes it. I, I would. I would. I played all my friends' music and she was like, yeah, this is cool. That's awesome, dude. I think we'll That's fancy. Their, uh, BSP numbers. <laughs> 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 Get them residuals. Yeah. Silent partner. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? What's, where, where, where are you off to? So next I am moving to Sydney. Sorry so about that, dude. Big old move to Sydney. Um, I'm working for a uh, like a company called Absec, which um, basically revolves around uh, helping uh, Indigenous children who have been affected by the child protective system. Um, so I think it's a big part of what they do is about like sponsoring events, about learning, and um, really trying to uplift the indigenous culture over in New South Wales. Um, apparently, they have a massive impact on like uh, indigenous children over on that side of the east coast. So it's yeah, a pretty cool job. Basically, I'm going to be doing um, their digital marketing and like a bit of their content creation. So a bit of the same stuff that I've learned from here, and then just going to be putting it over there. So that's one of the best things. I remember Henry talked to me about this and this really resonated with me. It's one of the best things about working for Brendan and Laura is you get like a vast knowledge of just random stuff. Yeah. So they were just, they were just yeah. asking me questions in the interview and I was like, Oh, I've done, I've done all of this, yeah. but they, they're like, uh, like a lot of the marketing stuff is like, I've learned that from Brendan. A lot of the like, um, dealing with children. We've done that on the, the trips when we go out to Google to trips and like, yeah, it was just incredible. Like obviously the content creation side of it is like a main part of the job. So that's obviously what I've been doing. So it was like without working here, I wouldn't have had all of that mm. knowledge. And um, yeah, I think it was just perfect. It just like perfectly worked out. And uh, yeah. Sad. Are we going to see in the Discord? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to get on, I'm going to have to get on that um what is it the like wines I've been drinking or whatever like <laughs> Oh yeah what, what am I drinking? What am I just yeah. Pick, picked this yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, the code is WFTP. Go to the different drop website. I'm going to need that 10%. Code now. Just keep yeah. doing that. We need that code. Drops in Sydney, so that's that's uh, Yeah. Really I'll be dropping by just picking up a few yeah, bottles. You can delivery. Yeah, you can you can, you can and you can also okay. pick up from the warehouse as well. It's in a sh Damn. like it's in a it's in a good spot for them. It's in a terrible spot for commuting. But yeah, I'll make the try. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's same day or like, like a couple of hours. Same later. day or next day yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I had a wine on Sunday night and I got Tuesday afternoon in Melbourne. It was good. Jesus. It's very good. Mm. Anyway. They're quick. I reckon it's about time we wrap it up. Yeah. 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 Big love. Love you guys. See you on, See you on the flip. Vlogs <laughs> in Sydney, I think. Yeah. More yeah. 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 If you guys are ever in Sydney, feel free to come visit me at my one bedroom apartment. Yeah, they cost stage. like a thousand dollars a week, <laughs> and you can you can come. You want to sleep on the balcony? Let me know. You got a balcony, dude. I got a balcony. It's half the apartment. No. <laughs> the balcony is half the apartment. At least it's alfresco. Right. Cheers, guys. Ciao. 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 Ciao.